Today is day, fuck, I don't know. Anyway, it's Sunday. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be real and honest with you guys, and I feel like shit today. Um, something happened yesterday, and I feel like absolute shit. I've been crying all night, all this morning, and I'm just absolutely crushed. I'm not gonna go into it because it's just not worth it, but I just really need to do something that isn't gonna make me think about it. So today, again, I'm going out by myself. Um, I was meant to be going with my best friend Maddie, but that's not happening today. Again, I'm going to a spa today. I'm gonna go get a massage and just like feel a lot better and relax because I don't right now. I feel very tense and very emotional. So I just had to fix my makeup because I look like shit. Really in the mood to do anything. I really feel like curling up in a ball and crying. As you can tell, I'm getting a little emotional and I just feel like actually going home to be honest that's how I feel today I feel like I want to go home what you call it my massage will make me feel a little bit better um, but yeah yesterday was an amazing day yesterday I I didn't really vlog much because um, I was with my driver and it was a bit weird I didn't want to vlog around him well that was a lot of neck rolls <laughs> and I just like wanted to be in the moment yesterday so yesterday I went and did some jet skiing I went jet skiing for the first time which was awesome um, got extremely sunburnt on my hairline and on the back of my arms. We drove all the way to Uluwatu on the scooter. I got sunburnt again, but it's like all gone. Still stings a little actually, which I'm surprised by. Um, but that was amazing. We went to a really beautiful temple and we saw some real Balinese people, which was absolutely gorgeous. They looked beautiful. Got hit in the head with a selfie stick at the temple. It was great. Couldn't believe it. We went to a beach bar where all the surfers go. It was really nice, really cheap food. And then we went to this beautiful beach. But yeah, it was just really beautiful yesterday and I just didn't feel like really vlogging yesterday as I just wanted to be in the moment of it all. I might vlog today, I'm not sure. I honestly, like, this whole trip I haven't felt like vlogging. I just really am not in the mood to do anything. Plus, my dad's camera is huge, so it's so big to, like, hold and, like, handle. Plus, it fogs up every time I walk outside, so it's, like, not really worth taking. I said yesterday that I went... Oh, hello, lighting. I think yesterday I said that I went to the shops. I think I did. I can't remember. Before I went out um, on the day with to Uluwatu, I went out shopping because I was like, oh, I'll grab a sarong, which in the end I, I wore a traditional Balinese sarong anyway while I was there. But I grabbed some sarongs and a bag, and then today I'm going shopping as well, so I'm going to grab some other things. But... I'm just going to show you first, I got this YSL bag, so whenever you see this on my Instagram, it's fake. <laughs> um, I just really love these bags, I've always loved these bags when I see them on Instagram. Obviously I can't afford one, so I bought this for like $15, which was a bargain. And then I went and got some sarongs, I got one for me, which I love this colour, look how beautiful it is. It's just like, 
I'd say peach kind of color, but I think it looks really nice on me. I'm not trying to bag. And I got my sister this one. She loves blue. I didn't see this one at first, but I was like, wow, that's really beautiful. Um, so it has this beautiful big like flower in the middle and it has like little flowers on the outside. And I just thought that was really cute too because it's such a beautiful blue color and she loves blue and I thought she could like maybe hang it up on her wall or something. And then I got this other one for her because she loves animals and it has a beautiful, it's not blue, but it's still beautiful. If she doesn't want it, I'll easily take it. Um, it has this beautiful elephant in the middle. Look how beautiful that is. I just thought it was really pretty. So I fell in love with those sarongs. Um, it cost me $10 each, which is a bit pricey, but she said um, 20 at first. So I bargained her down. A little but at first I thought she said 10 for the three so I was like oh yeah and then I got to the front and she was like oh $10 each and I was like yeah yeah just paid it and I walked away and I was like I just got so ripped off <laughs> oh I just feel like going to bed to be honest but I need to get out I need to get out of this hotel because I'm not a hotel person I'm so not a hotel person so I'm gonna go out and just try and get my mind off things just really chill out we'll go from there I guess I just yeah I really want to go home right now. I'm in that mode today where I just want to be at home and I've never ever on a trip had that feeling of I want to go home. But today I really have that emotional feeling of I just want to be at home right now and just curl up in my bed and go to sleep for a whole year. But I can't do that because I'm over here so I might as well use what I can to do something. Um, Alright, so I'll see you guys out on the street. <sighs> Don't mind my son is there a bit. Oh. Um, so I just got lost, kind of, I went the wrong way, trying to go to the, the site for the Bali bombing and I walked straight past it, so now I've got to walk all the way back to the street and go from there. So that's going to be great, um, it's starting to rain, another great winner. <laughs> it's okay. Um, and yeah, so now I'm just going to try and find my way back. lovelies <clears throat> so today is Monday um, so we've got two more days to go <clears throat> why is it so like bright I just had breakfast and I left early because I thought my driver would be here at exactly 9 30 which is what he usually is he's usually on time but he's not today so whoopsies um, today I'm going to a boot which I'm super excited about I'm going to do the rice fields, I'm going to go see the monkeys, which I'm kind of scared about, but, and then I'm going to go to a butterfly play, some temples, I think, as well, um, so it's going to be a really, really good day. It's going to be a long day, it takes about two hours from Kuta to get to Abud, so I'm going on the scooter again. My driver's being a little cheeky with me, um, which I'm like, a little about, um, but oh well. <coughs> Keep, like, coughing. But I woke up this morning and realized that my sneakers are missing. So I realized this morning I went to put my sneakers on and they are gone. Missing. So the ones that I wore here, those white ones that you saw early in the vlog, um, I wore those here and I haven't worn them since and they are now missing. Someone has stolen my shoes from my room. So that's great. Actually, like honestly, I've had such a crappy kind of experience here in Bali. I've never had so much shit happen while I'm traveling, so it's obviously a sign that I need to not travel at the moment. <laughs> anyway, so that was the drama this morning, and I'm not really feeling that well today. Um, I feel a bit sick in the stomach. I hope it's not barley belly, because if it is, I'm going to be so mad. I don't know, I just feel really, like, heavy in my belly, and just, like, I don't know if I was going to vomit early this morning, 
but I haven't really eaten anything that's been like pretty bad. Like I've had chicken, I've had ice in my water, but like I don't know. I just feel a bit bleh today, so hopefully it picks up a little bit. I do feel like vomiting right now, but I'm trying to hold it back. I don't know, my belly's just like not happy today, so hopefully it improves later on today. That's probably my driver saying I'm here, so let's go to a bullet today. scaring me when they fly in front of me but <laughs> it's so lovely here. Oh, I feel like I'm at a spa. Good morning everyone. So oh, today, today today is the last and final day and honestly I couldn't be more happier to go home. I had a really beautiful afternoon yesterday. I didn't really feel much yesterday as I was just kind of chilling, doing my own thing. Um, and yesterday I, I just didn't really do much that wasn't very exciting to vlog. So I just went to the beach, I sat there for like four hours, didn't really get a tan from it though, which is a bit sad. Went for my spa day, had dinner with myself, had breakfast to myself, so I just did like everything again by myself. But I was told, yesterday night I was told that we were, um, checkout was at 10, so I got up 
you know, not early, but I got up with enough time to get breakfast and all that. And apparently checkout's now at, um, at 12. So that's a bit annoying. I could have slept in a little bit or just planned to do a few more things. That's just really frustrating. Worst sleep last night. Absolutely the shit of sleep. Um, there was just so much movement in the room last night. And, um, just commotion in the room. And I just, yeah, I got the worst sleep. So I'm really tired. I just feel a bit flat today. Um, and I've lost my SIM card, which is great. My Australian SIM card. I had it last night on my bed. And I had a drink last night. Like, I'm not saying that I was drunk, but... <clears throat> I don't know, it just kind of blurs out after really going to bed. Um, so hopefully I didn't lose it because I need that. I remember seeing it on my bed after I picked up a plate and put it in my suitcase. And I remember picking it up and then I don't remember what I did with it then. So I'm going to have to look for it um, when I get back from breakfast because otherwise it's going to be a bit tricky. And then I think after breakfast I'm just going to come back here and just relax. But yeah, honestly, I couldn't be, I couldn't wait to, I can't wait to get home, so love that for me. I'm going to get going because I'm going to go have breakfast and just chill out and um, I'll see you guys probably at the airport or something. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Just one look into ourselves can make us feel good, can make us feel good, but we look outside our way. In the past, and that's what we are, and that's what we are. All we know is that we are here looking for the answers of life, but we are too blind to recognize the places where we search is wrong.